Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video. Well, we are here inside, yes, Carrie Parker's studio here at 728 Alley. Now, this is one of those hidden secrets that, well, might be popping up a few more places, but you know who usually knows about this? Celebrities. I keep seeing it in magazines like InStyle and US and People and Lucky and all over the place with celebrities. But Carrie, we're going to let you inside and show you some of the secrets and what makes her style so unique when it comes to design. So Carrie, now tell me about the piece that I'm wearing right here that you put on me. The piece that you're wearing is from the Brass Collection. Um, they're all, uh, the prices start $75 and they go up from there. They're a little bit heavier, but they're good to wear daytime into nighttime. Um, that piece is one of the longer pieces, and you'll see some other pieces later that go from choker down to earrings and like that. Yeah, and some of the things that's really cool. Now you see something big and heavy like this brass collection, and then you see something extremely delicate like what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. This piece is my newest collection. It's uh, oxidized sterling silver, black diamond accents with all uh, semi-precious gemstones. This one happens to be rutilated quartz. So Carrie, if you were to describe your joy style, how would you describe it? Um, I would say avant-garde, a little bit eclectic. There's some more traditional looking pieces as well. I have anything from plain silver hoops to something a little bit more unique like this. Black diamonds and the black and silver. Now see, part of it is I see a lot of jewelry all the time and this is something totally unique. I, I love the, I mean, just the style. It's delicate, it looks delicate, but it's not. Oh no, it's pretty versatile. I have really long earrings that you can wear with pretty much anything. I have some chokers as well with this piece. Um, and then the long version. And this is one of your newer collections. This is the newest collection. Th that's the newest mm -hmm. out of all of them? Yes. Hmm. Can we see some more pieces from it? Sure. Um, we have some pieces like this. This is green onyx with black diamonds. These come in a few different stones like amethyst, whiskey quartz. And then we have the shoulder dusters. These will We'll hit the shoulders and they're pretty sexy. This one's Peruvian opal. Peruvian opal, wow. There's also some one of a kinds, like this piece. This is praseolite with black diamonds on oxidized sterling. What is it? What did you call that? It's called praseolite. Oh, that's pretty. It's also known as green amethyst. Actually, if you turn that a little bit, we see a little, it looks a little green and then sometimes it looks really just kind of clear. Yeah. They, they change to, depending on the direction. Those are pretty gorgeous. These are beautiful shape stones. Yeah. I love the faceting on there. Thank you. This is uh, orange chalcedony with black diamonds. And this piece you can actually wear with the tail in the front, or you can flip it around so it's just a, a plain single necklace. That is gorgeous. Thank you. This collection is with sterling silver and 14 karat. It's, uh, this piece is really versatile. It comes with a clasp. You can actually wear it as a single strand or you can uh, double it and then tie it like it's shown here. There's also matching earrings, cufflinks, um, some other simpler necklaces. This is two separate. And then these guys back here are my signature shapes. This was actually the original design from the collection. It was one continuous chain um, spiraled around and soldered to stay like that. So you've always loved chains? Yes. This collection is made by trial and error. I do a lot of work at my bench and if it doesn't get melted down and it works as a piece then it ends up in my collection. You know, a, lot of a lot of times it, it melts and it's for the garbage. <laughs> it almost reminds me of either a four-leaf clover or fleur de lis. Oh yeah. Out of chains. I call them clovers. Oh, but good luck. Really, it was something that that came out of the chain, just uh, whatever direction the chain goes in. Yeah, but it's still nature inspired because if I look at some of your other pieces over here, you have a lot of stones over here. I do have a lot of stones. I I, I love. One of a kind, spectacular stones. These happen to be all one of a kind stones. Uh, the red onyx, lapis, Jersey quartz is a favorite of mine. 
This one especially is pretty spectacular. And the tourmalated quartz is also beautiful stone. And these are all in sterling silver knotted chains. Um, they're pretty popular. They're very cool. Do you have any favorites that you like to work with? Favorite stones? I know we're looking at quite a few different ones. The Druzies are one of my favorites. Uh, some of the, the stones from the previous collection with the black diamonds, like honey quartz, uh, amethyst, the green onyx is a beautiful emerald green color. Mm -hmm. and you're still combining them with the silver chains. These yes. are beautiful. And then some of the simpler, just plain silver necklaces. This is one of my best sellers. This as well. These were in InStyle magazine. See, you know, this is one of those things that even when you're looking them, at them on camera, they never quite capture what is there. I mean, you, sure. you have to really see them. Definitely. You, yeah. They have a lot of movement, so when you see somebody wearing them, they really catch your eye. Oh, I bet they do. And these chains over here, which you've been looking at, these are a lot of fun. And this is all brass. This one this is a choker, and it also comes in the long version. There's also some matching earrings. These guys. They're nice for everyday pieces. Mm -hmm. I love the way you mix them too because you have something that's heavy with the chains and then you have this very delicate... Oh yeah. This. They, I pair my 14 karat gold with the brass sometimes. Um, these are separate. This is a separate necklace. This is a honey quartz on 14 karat. They work well together. This collection is my basic collection. It's uh, a lot of sterling silver, 18 karat yellow gold, 18 karat rose gold. Um, my best seller is this ring here. It was featured in Lucky Magazine. Uh, That's lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> I three different pages too. Three different pages? How yes. did you manage that? That's amazing. Yep, it was lucky. <laughs> yeah, I would say. That's really pretty cool. So this one's the 18 karat yellow gold. 18 karat rose gold. Do you know if more men are buying it or women? More women, although yeah. I've had a lot of men come in. I've had some people buy them as their wedding bands. Oh, do they ask you to put diamonds in them? No, I haven't had any requests for diamonds yet. They, they also come with the sterling silver hoops. Those are fun. These guys. Very sculptural. Very, very sculptural. And I noticed they're different thicknesses. Oh yeah. And then I also do the extra large hoops. Something like that. There's a hoop size for everyone. Oh yes. And big hoops are in. Big hoops and then some big bangles to go with it. There's some knotted pieces. And then there's the single bangles here. Oh, these are fun. I can see why those would be a favorite. Oh yeah. I wear this one every day. You do? Mm-hmm. Hey, and it even has your initials in their KP. Kara, you had mentioned nature inspired in your jewelry, but did part of that originate from some of your sketchings? Uh, my logo it would definitely originated from my sketches. Um, all my prints are nature inspired. A lot of animals, creatures. Uh, there's a lot of influence from medieval manuscripts, maybe Bosch, Dolly. Uh, these are all metal plate etchings. Wow, and that's almost like a long lost art. Yes. It's not too often you come across somebody that does traditional printmaking. And I was actually formally trained in printmaking before I was ever a jeweler. So as my, my etchings got smaller, that's when I actually started making jewelry. So you can see with the, some of the small prints, they could be almost jewel-like. Oh, this is your most recent collection for your etchings? Yes. Gosh, these are so intricate. No wonder why you migrated to jewelry. Gosh. The beginnings of Carrie's jewelry. So this is my floral collection. There's uh, a lot of color, some one-of-a-kinds. There's some runway pieces. There's a little bit of bridal jewelry here. Um, we do these fancy chokers. Uh, these are sterling and 18 karat. There is some of my plain disc rings. This is one of my more popular pieces from this collection. And then there's also... You can even see yourself in it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You can see yourself in a lot of these pieces, actually. Um, there's also the stackable rings, which are pretty popular. You can do one, two, or oh, three that's pieces. Oh, stackable. Those are fun. Mm -hmm. We can do them in any color. We do them in a lot of birthstones. And I noticed these are obviously nature-inspired. Yes. Did you grow up with them on nature? I did. My uh, background, our family business growing up, was a lot of uh, floral design. We own greenhouses and do a lot of interior landscaping on the East Coast. So I always had my hands in some dirt with some flowers. Oh, so you brought them to life. Yes. Every color you can imagine. There's also some little stud earrings. There's some brass and sterling studs. Audrina Patridge owns a piece from this collection. She owns this necklace exactly, actually. Those are pretty. And then some more rings. There's this piece as well. There's this piece as well, which is a uh, long flower necklace. You can hook it anywhere you want, so you can make it into a lariat, like it's shown here, or you can hook it into one big loop. Could you also make it a belt? I guess you could. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. And this is all different kinds of gemstones. There's a lot of tourmaline, prehanite, amethyst, uh, rose quartz. That's about it. Those are really pretty. I'm looking at all of your styles, and I remember reading about your background, and you were a designer, and you worked with companies like H&M and Forever 21. How did that influence your styles? Well, when I left that company, I was really tired of copies, and my job at that company was basically to take something that was popular, change it into our own style, so it would sell. And when I left that company, I decided I wanted to go the route of making jewelry that could not be copied. And so... Which is why your designs are so unique. Yes, my designs are unique. And um, it's I've tried to knock myself off <laughs> for people like QVC. And I can't find people to do it because it's so hard to copy my stuff. That um, that's what, what ended up as my collection. Um. And these are, happen to be, this is some of your one-of-a-kind pieces? These are some of my one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh, there's some sterling, there's some 14 karat, uh, really unique shaped gemstones. And I take the stone, basically, and I design the metal around the stone. And Those are gorgeous. They're basically like little sculptures to me. They do look like little sculptures, and they're obviously nature-inspired. Yes. So these are these unique pieces or some of the ones you might actually see on celebrities, besides some of your other ones. Yes, uh, Natasha Henstridge owns a piece, Michelle Trachtenberg, Lucy Liu. you got a celebrity following. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep, keep ending up in those magazines. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, us people, lucky. <laughs> I mean, where haven't you been? In style? Um, I haven't yeah. been in W yet, or Vogue. Mm, like maybe those are coming up. You know, Hopefully. You never know. So never if people know. want to catch up with you on the internet, where is the best place to find you? Uh, go to www.carrieparker.com, and that's spelled K-E-R-R-I-P-A-R-K-E-R. -E -E um, you can also come to my studio, which uh, you can go to the website 728alley.com, and that's in Santa Monica off of Montana Avenue. Or you can visit me at Bloomingdale's. My trunk show dates are listed on carrieparker.com. Oh, well, we are looking forward to seeing much more of you and your jewelry all over the place. The style is distinctive. You're not going to see a lot of knockoffs on this, but you never know which celebrity is going to be popping up in Carrie Parker. <laughs>